from a point three point ten. So we want to show that uh, for any i greater than j, the t i x t j x should be equal to one half t i plus i j uh, t one one half of t i plus j plus uh, t of i minus j. So this is actually just using the the uh, trigonometric functions, the property of the, for the trigonometric functions. Because remember that t i x is just uh, defined to be cosine of i times cosine inverse of x, or arc cosine of x. So this is just some angle. Uh, let's say this is some angle y here. So it's just cosine i times y. So what do we have here? It's just the cosine of i of y and the cosine of uh, j times y. So we can use the property of the trigonometric functions. The cosine times cosine is just uh, uh, the cosine of the sum of the two angles plus the cosine of the difference of the two angles time together and divide by two. So now they're just giving us this. Now remember here, this is just i plus j, essentially just telling us that this is the t sub i plus j, and this is just the t sub i minus j. That's why we just got this uh, equation.